TSL Hill game of the day here at Bell Reeve Oval. It was a ripping contest. Sue's on the line. Brett Jeeves for Lauderdale. They took it right up to the Premiers. Well, if you're Darren Winter, you're pretty happy with the performance that uh, your Chargers have put forward today. They were hard of the contest. Uh, we're going to take a look at some highlights here. Not, not, a, not a massive marking day. A lot of work around the ground. Um, it's sort of both teams relied heavily on their skill. And as we can see there, the Clarence players, uh, they came out on top. Walsh there, kicking a really good early one there. Matthew Jury's second game in, bending one around the corner too, was very, very important to the structures. It was a game of errors, wasn't it? And you felt at times that if only Lauderdale could have used the ball a little bit cleaner, they may have got closer on the scoreboard. They kept working a couple of times during the games. Brett, we thought they were gone. They kept getting themselves back into the contest. Well, I like Jamie Dineo's game. Uh, and there, of course, uh, Hayden Smith taking what was mark of the day. But Cameron Thurley continues to impress everyone. He kicks goals. He gathers possessions. But it was Jamie Dineo, and we're going to see some goals from him late in the fourth quarter that kept Lauderdale in the game. He's marking overhead. But more importantly, his tackling and his defensive pressure around the play was just terrific today. There's one of those goals from just outside 50, half post tie Dineo. They hit the front a couple of times in the last quarter, but the real pressure, the experience late in the game for Clarence was very telling. Well, we saw, saw Tex Perkins come off late in the game yeah. there, didn't we? And I think that he came off the ground. Clarence kicked the last two goals of the game. And that was that was probably the, the sealer. Perkins came off. We see here, terrific, um, that was a good one. terrific goal there. Check side, nice bounce into the goal square. That was uh, to put Clarence 16 points up. And um, we look at the match stats. A lot of possessions to Clarence, which surprised me. I thought Lord of had the run of the play uh, for a good portion of the game. But Clarence, as you can see, 286 possessions, 80 marks, to me, says that they used the ball very well. Yeah, used to the handball down back is probably where they do mop it up and get a few more extra stats. The inside 50s very even, the free kicks even. Right across the board, it was a pretty even day. But in the end of the day, the skills were telling and the premiers coming out on top, 13 goals, 1088 to 11, 773. Cameron Thurley with three, Jury two, Brendan Moore two, and Dienio three, Fitz two, McManus Walsh. So today, it was the Premiers just holding fourth, keeping their spot second on the ladder.